Hello, I'm Mike Kako. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make WCA or water soluble calcium. So, first off, don't make the same mistake that I did and use a non stick pan. It's much better to use a cast iron pan or something like a Dutch oven. So, the first step is to roast your eggshells on medium heat for about 20 to 30 minutes until golden brown. You want to crush your eggshells so that there's more surface area. So these are eggshells I've collected from 8 eggs. After using each egg, I wash the eggshell and rinse them thoroughly under water. So one of the main reasons for roasting the shells is that it will break down the organic matter attached to the shell that could potentially rot and contaminate your fermentation. Some people just like to fan the membrane out of the pan because they're light and they can be easily blown out. About 10 minutes in and you can see the eggshells are slowly browning. So this is about 20 minutes in and I think I'm about finished. Just gotta empty this out. Uh, according to the CTAR UH Manoa WCA instruction manual, I guess, or free PDF, uh, you can find the link in the description below. It stated that you don't want to char your eggshells um, so that they're black, but you just want to brown them lightly and so so here I'm just emptying out the browned eggshells into another bowl And this is how it should sort of look like. Now the next step, I'm going to add equal parts in weight of browned eggshells to equal parts of brown rice vinegar. And if you don't have brown rice vinegar, you can use apple cider vinegar. But for this particular batch, I only had apple cider vinegar but BRV or brown rice vinegar can be found on Amazon for like $15 US. I use the food scale to weigh the equal parts of eggshells to vinegar like the one I have here. So here I'm just adding the vinegar and as you can see I'm slowly pouring the vinegar um, but I guess I didn't pour it slow enough because it still bubbled over and it was very messy. So I'm going to suggest that you either, you either get a bigger jar or a container or you can just slowly pour and kind of let it settle. So after you're finished, you're gonna wanna try to look and see if your mixture is reacting. And it should sort of look like this. 
the eggshells will go up and down and kind of be suspended. Uh, this should happen, or this should continue on for at least another one to two hours. And it also may continue to bubble for the duration of the fermentation process. So now that my mixture has settled and I have finished mopping up the spilt vinegar mixture, you're going to want to seal the container with a breathable lid. So I use the paper towel and the rim of the cover or the cap of the mason jar. Here is my WCA mixture after 10 days. The next step is to strain your mixture. Some people when making larger batches of WCA um, tend to resort to using paint strainers which is super awesome but for this tiny batch I'm going to use this $1.50 strainer that I found here at the local dollar store here in Hawaii. This is how your WCA should sort of look like. I'm not too sure, but this is my third time making it. And it seems that this batch is a bit more darker. Finally, after straining your mixture, all you have to do is store it in an airtight container in a cool shaded place. And there's no need to mix any brown sugar to make this shelf stable, it is already shelf stable as it is. For the leftover eggshells, don't throw them away, reuse them, throw them in the garden. Uh, you can use them in your compost or in your warm composting bin. And there you have it, WCA in 10 days. You're going to want to use WCA on your garden as a foliar spray or as a soil drench and this will help with hardening the leaves the leaf structure of your plants as well as the roots so what I really really like about WCA is that it is really available I guess highly available to your plants and to your soil Instead of applying synthetic fertilizers or a synthetic calcium fertilizer to your plants, which will take maybe months to break down and be available to your plants, this WCA will likely be immediately available for your plants to uptake and for your plants to use. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, um, please subscribe to my channel and uh, stay tuned for more KNF videos and more Kalo farming videos. Mahalo nui.